transistor leads identification there are three leads means terminals in a transistor base emitter and collector when transistor is to be connected in a circuit it is necessary to know that which terminal is which one there are three systems of identification of leads of a transistor is given by manufacturer the looks of these three systems are like this in a system like this the leads of the transistor are in the same plane and unevenly spaced between them they are identified by positions and spacing of leads you can found that all these three leads are on same plane the distance between these two leads that is between e and b is small while that of between these two leads that is between b and c is more if looks of the transistor is like this then its central lead is the base lead the lead which nearer to the base lead is emitter lead and the remaining lead is the collector the manufacturers of such type of transistors are totally stopped so now they are not available in market in a system like this the leads of a transistor are in same plane and evenly spaced these leads are in same plane and the distances between these two leads and between these two leads are same if looks of the transistor is like this then central lead is the base a dot is given on the case of the transistor like this which is nearer to any one of the remaining two leads the lead identified by dot is the collector and remaining lead is the emitter in a system like this the transistors are cylindrical form the looks of these transistors are like this its leads are spaced around the circumference of a circle the positions of these three leads are like this and here is some gap that is empty part a tab on the rim of the circle of this transistor within this gap is given like this with starting from this tab in clockwise direction the leads are in e b c order that is this is tab if we move clockwise direction then this first lead is emitter second is base and third is collector in this way we identify the leads of transistor without any meter but nowadays a lot of types of transistors are available in commercial markets there are different arrangement of their leads so it is difficult to remember them by using ohm meter one can easily identify the leads of the transistor and types of the transistor